What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to possibly the first actual naval action of the Venetian army, uh, Venetian navy rather, uh, against this force uh, commanded by Spain. Really, there's only two ships to worry about: a heavy first rate and a second rate of the line, which we will be looking to try and capture. And a Savoy ship is coming in to help. So let us engage. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the. One of the actions that we need to complete on our road to Madrid. So we've got uh, th a few armies advancing on the capital itself. One army is probably going to break off west and lay well, attempt to lay siege to Lisbon. Apart from that, it's going to be... Well, really, it's a mopping up exercise now in Europe while we begin to send ships over to other parts of the world. Most of the amphibious assaults are going to be done in the Americas. So we want something like that. And then sail that one in. They're gonna have the weather, but it's we're not that we're not that far. Or, or are they? Okay, let's look at trying to cut some of the distance towards them, because it looks like they're gonna try and Sail around. If I sail this way. Okay, looks like they might be trying to kill the Savoy ship that's coming in behind them first. Rather than actually engaging us. Which makes sense, I guess. In which case, let's see if we can gain a bit of distance on them. They're doing, they're doing a complete U-turn. I'm sure they are just trying. They do just want to kill that Savoy ship behind them. Spot yet? Right, let's see how well they do while our fleet moves forward. I mean, a lot of their ships are actually oh, just really weak, so it's not a huge... Well, it's a bit of a risk for the Spanish raid to have this guy sat around here just not potentially knocking out ships left and right. But if he's just going to sail in... First... First broadside knocks out a mast. Some things just aren't fair. Yeah, we're making very slow time. Could probably try and do that a bit more to try and get a little bit more speed, but yeah, fundamentally. I think this action has to be decided first. Whatever the uh, Savoy fleet want to do. Because, yeah, they, they, they've, they've effectively... They're in a traffic jam. <laughs> they've done a loop. They don't know what to do. They are now officially stuck. And that Savoy fifth rate is just... Loading and firing in their own time against San Jacinto. Because nobody can stop them. Broadside, broadside, broadside. I mean, they're doing great. Well, they're supposed to start with 16 guns, they've knocked down one gun. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to chop the recording here, because otherwise we're going to soak up this entire episode just watching this happen. So I'll bring you back when something interesting starts happening. So see you in a second, everyone. And we are off. The Savoy ship um, managed to get a to, to board a fifth rate and took it into our service, but then they sadly expired. So my fleet, my ships began <laughs> became a bit like the sort of more like the Spanish Armada, <laughs> or like you know the uh, 
Spanish fleet at Trafalgar and just kind of went right. I went to steer straight towards them, then they started maneuvering. So you're gonna fire a chain shot into the Master de Concepcion. Sacralega is gonna shoot a broadside into Conception. I want this I want this bad boy to start pumping shots into um, Conception's masts. These ships are heading south to try and deal with Esquivel when it arrives. Lots of these ships are all just sailing as fast as they can into the mix. Right, so now you fire chain. So we're going to pump some chain into the masthead here. All mast and conception's gone. You want to get here and park up, you're going to get here and park up. Because you're also going to pump chain into the mast of this, into the, um, the head of this ship. Okay, you're going to start firing round shot now because you're in a good position to do that. away and get around keep pumping shots into that heavy first that's going to be our main main target San Andrea just get into get to here and just keep pumping shots into this ship fire chain. Usually these smaller ships don't like being dismasted one bit. Good. Surrendered. Can you try to get around? You make sure you're sailing ahead of this ship. Heavy first wants to get into some broadside action, we can do that. Surrendered. Private tears are just. 
I'm just being swarmed a bit now. Lord Battery, fire! Wavering because you're on fire. He's, yeah, everybody's in a bad way. Oh, she's quite nicely on fire. Ah, they've put it out. Some of these ships that are sat at the back. Are you still on fire? Fire your broadside off and get away. Everybody sail that way. Except for you guys. You guys sail that way. Last chip. Kids give. You have orders to board. So they can't withdraw because they don't have the. Well, they can withdraw. But if they do withdraw, then they're going to definitely die because the enemy doesn't have any. They can't escape from the port. Because if everybody except you. Have orders to attack. Everybody get in at full sail. Or at least let's pick a few to sail at full sail. Probably want some of the thirds in here as well. Okay, let's pick you guys. Sail that way. Cut them off. Or attempt to, anyway. This ship fire chain, just because they they've got um chase guns. If they're lucky they might put some holes in masts or holes in um, rigging. Sails rather. There you go, Lord, she running. I go sail across from her because she's gonna otherwise she's gonna just sail around us the delta's in range make sure you're sailing even more a bit more at an angle You're going to switch to chain, then you're going to pivot at the last minute, dump some shots, try knock out her mast. This can be part of the problem, but having loads of slower ships compared to a few fast... <laughs> I mean, my third rates can probably catch, but... Not enough. Okay. There we go. Take out a mast, and then... Job will be a good one. You're loading musket firearms. I mean, you could just um, round shot and shatter them, but we'll knock out masts so that when I want them to deliver the coup de grace, they can't go anywhere. You just stay where you are. When this ship gets out of the way, you can pump your broadside into her. There we go. 
jobs they're good in. Nice, okay, good capture. I mean, good capture, there's only one way that one's going to end. Don't want any of them. Uh... No, no, no. Yes, yes. Okay, right. Just those two. Everybody else can help pay for the repairs. Sorry, Savoy. Can you men put in Sandy Bay for repairs? This fleet put into Oran for repairs. Okay, 76 grand. Right, because you're repairing. The army in here is replenishing. You, you need, you're waiting for one unit. Are you not? Or you you might not be, actually. Give them an infantry unit. Then you men march towards Lisbon. This army's... Uh, it's replenishing, but it's just because there's a large army here. So I'd like to hit them with this force and drive them away from Gibraltar. Really. Um... You know, in the north, I was hoping I could try and lure some of these guys away. See if I can convince them to give up. Okay, you can't. Okay, try. Hmm. Yeah, French rebels. I was hoping I'd get some of these guys to commit to run in different directions, but I think you're going to hold here. I'm going to see if I can draw some of these armies south rather than... Either that or I will just go in for the ultimate attack on Madrid and deal with all of these guys as I as things arise. Um, okay, let's get it. State house here. Okay, then at Tunis... Let's get or so start to build a an army ready to attack Tripoli when the time comes, because you will probably be committed to attack Savoy itself or even maybe Italy. You know, attack the home, the base of power of the Roman Empire. Because you're still growing. I'm still growing. Okay. Okay, you might have to stay in Amsterdam. It's hoping to get you committed elsewhere. I mean, we've got plenty of troops in ready to attack um, Edinburgh. So one army can engage George Wade. And another army can lay siege to Edinburgh, while the other two armies can head south towards London. The main thing is it's going to be really interesting to watch the Brits attack my army here because if they go if they go full bore this could be quite a tasty battle other than that let's check to make sure there's no hidden there's no fleets i've forgotten no well um interchangeable parts is about to be researched which is great let's hit and turn okay <laughs> another rake on the move Another army's marching north. Oh, they're landing an army on Ireland. George Wade has attacked Baldassare Bomba Bom Bombieri. And the garrison at uh, Edinburgh doesn't come in to help, which is good. Good, okay. We have to defend against this British onslaught. So I might put one gun in the line. And then one gun out to the line. They have no artillery to um, to deal with. So I think it could work if we just... You know, we probably want our gun, one gun in the line just to make sure our infantry win the infantry battle. Then one out of the line to provide a bit of a constant, longer range bombardment against strategic units of value. Uh, defend the town? No, sir. I do not want to defend the town. 
I want to defend out of it. I want to have my... I want to be... Because we haven't even got any buildings we can garrison here. So you're effectively out of it. Two, four. Anchor our flank against this part of the town, this area of buildings. This line can spread out. These units can fortify whatever flank is the most vulnerable. So we've got one gun in the line. Ultimately, do we put two? Because maybe is the answer to that. It does make these lines a bit chunkier. Yeah, I think we put a second team in the line. Okay, both cover on the left. Go on the right. Make sure all my infantry is grouped up. I suppose ultimately you guys might just cover the town. These guys are more of my reinforcements. Howitzers. Chug, you're going to be dumping out quick climb as fast as you can. Put a militia unit on the flank here. Advance my cavalry out. Some horse grenadier guards out here. Okay, howitzers. Explicitly try focus on yeah these melee units for now because they will try and um, overwhelm us. Go for the melee units first. Fusiliers, line infantry you can't. You've got a lot of this is a good good British army we're up against. Both of you try to trap and shot the general's bodyguard. If he's going to come in range. Ooh, might get some cavalry in this as well. Bodyguard. No, this is probably not the. No, this isn't the general. It's just a general's bodyguard. Okay, strap, strap, or shot. Start working against some of these infantry units that are exposing themselves. So killed another general's bodyguard. Stop blasting holes in the line, in the, the infantry that's heading towards us. Quick line. Weaken a lot of their pikemen here. Lots of guards, eh? Who's that? Horse grenade guards. Okay, 
Yeah, ideally I want to try roll up blank. Run my QRC air through. We want to try go for the horse ground air guards. They're a lot easier to deal with when they're dismounted compared to when they're mounted. Quick line needs to try and work on these reinforcements as they arrive. Plenty of dragoons run through, try knock out some of these units. Highlander Warband is falling bravely ahead of our muskets. Cavalry try charge uh, try charge the Highlander Warband. Good, we're killing the Lancet Guard Horse Grand Air Guards. Exactly what we want. Shattered, bring the cavalry back. Swiss pikes have formed their little defensive square, which is okay. One house unit work on that Swiss pike unit. You work on the Royal Highland Grenadiers. I use my cavalry to go after enemy melee troops. Hit them in the flank while they're not formed up. Engineers are going for my gunners. Smart decision. You go for those fusiliers. Okay. You might have to get around the rear of those units. They've just those engineers have eviscerated my guns. Good hits on the enemy here. Pikemen are going down, my cavalry going down faster. Pikemen are charging towards our positions here. Okay, my militia are enough to deal with these Swiss pikes. They've been dealt with. Okay, we need to roll out some of these guys on the flank. There, yeah, we're in contact. They are in contact on our line. Friendly fire, quick climb's done a lot of damage. But chased off the enemy pike unit. Okay, these units push forward. Militia stay arrayed against the pikemen. These engineer these infantry charge the engineers, this cavalry and charge the back of the enemy mercenaries. Okay, 
massed volley fire at point blank range. Raw Highland Grenadiers going down. Let's kill that general. Let's kill the last two of those mercenaries. Kill the enemy general. Excellent. If you push through, kill the grenadiers. Enemy general. Get involved. Excellent. You kill them. Kill the Royal Highland Grenadiers. These infantry units push forward. Fusiliers are dead. Okay, right, you're gonna go after the Fusiliers. Artillery, ceasefire. Damn right, we're gonna continue. Not gonna let these scallywags get away, especially if there's some really tasty units here. European mercenaries aren't really that tasty. Fusiliers are. And if you can get these Highland Grenadiers, we will prevent. Once we capture Edinburgh, we will cap we will prevent the recruitment of these units. Chase them. Kill them. Nice. Okay, chase down. That garrison guard unit. Help your general carry. Kill them. Both these units kill the garrison guards. Just attempt to. The mercenaries have been defeated. You're in trouble now. Oh, yes. These guys are probably going to escape, but you know, we've done a lot of damage to the British here. So now Edinburgh is isolated. Oh, this guy turned around to fight. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, so Edinburgh is isolated. We can lay siege to that city and bottle it up. Ooh, okay, you're gonna try and withdraw. Hopefully we don't die. Okay, sometimes if you try and retreat like that, it will just say, no, you can't do that, you're you're going to die. Uh, do I want to intercept? Uh, no. Yeah, they're starting to panic about Lisbon, but that's what I want. I want them to commit their armies. Uh, do I want to intercept you? No, because I want to see if I can get another turn of um, reinforcement. Uh, absolutely not now, no. <gasps> you fools. Lisbon is open. Big mistake, buster. I mean, Britain's done a smart thing. They've amphibiously invaded Ireland. So I'm going to have to pull troops back to deal with that. However, uh, you want 15 grand for peace. No. <laughs> no peace. Okay. What are you up to, Dagestan? Come the rebels. We'll just take care of them. Okay. There's a raid at Lyon. Just, just kill the pirates. Just kill the rebels. I don't care if they do damage to all of our armies. Just get rid of them. See? If we get rid of them, Paris can kind of can more. Can tolerate what we do more. 
Okay, let's get more. Okay, let's get Paris's industry rebuilt. Interchangeable parts, good. They're onto mass production, which is also good. Okay, let's get upgrading. Commercial basin, yes. Good, good, good. More, more building everywhere. New track to get to seminary. Loop, then steam engine factory, army board. Oh, I thought that was everything. Nope. There's one more. Clearances in Courland. These are all top tier. Commercial basin in Sweden. That's will be top tier. Ordnance board at Tunis. Good. Um, okay, so the I'm I am very interested to see what is at Lisbon. Not much. We won't. We can't hit it in one turn. But I'm really interested in this because this is a big balls up by Spain. Is there anybody in their port? Ooh. Okay. Can we do some top level shit alsery? Yes, we can. <laughs> Spain, you idiot. <laughs> so what I did, if, if I if I took the army off of if I mounted the army onto the ships, I don't I might not have any movement points. By moving them into a naval hospital, boarded them onto a fleet, I checked that Porto was empty, I had enough movement points to get onto the ship, and then once he disembark them at a port, they can continue their move, continue down and attack Lisbon. So now, all of these armies for Spain just don't have to be dealt with. Let's... I mean, I might just... That, I might just auto that, just because the main effort, let's face it, is going to be... We want to get on to fighting, fighting Madrid. That particular attack there is much of a muchness. Don't really need to worry about that. Yeah, this is the main... The main thing we want, well, the more interesting of the two, I suppose. Let's attack Madrid. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We might be able to then free up the army in Gibraltar to either go west or land in southern England. So I think the armies we've got there have just crossed over onto the British mainland. They can run back and secure Dublin from that British army. I think that's going to be the way of it. But yeah, Spain's left the door open there for some top tier mischief. Guns deploy. Now it says deploy. Infantry. Hold. We're not going to do anything crazy because the garrison is not sufficiently strong to worry about doing any particularly complicated maneuvers. Knock a hole in the wall. How it says with quick lime to start to work on the enemy mortars. Here we might be able to get two. I was hoping we might have the distance to be able to hit both. Sadly not. Yeah, let's get to work on knocking down some of these walls. Because then when we attack, we need to attack with all speed. Although, actually... Let's see if we can really do some top tier... Chitalsery. And go for both... Go, go for both um, sections of war at the same time. Let's see if we can trap anybody on the wall. Because these are down to 68. This is still 31. But the bulk of the artillery fire is attacking the other. Okay, let's get another gun team to work on this. One gun team is going to chip away at this. The rest of the artillery is going to chip away at this. So we should 
They should roughly both finish at similar times. Or at least be more likely to finish, because actually this one's on 95%. Okay, all of my guns, put artillery focus on that, howitzers can... Ah, looks like they've caught on. You might be able to trap some units though. Although really, we don't necessarily want to trap unit on the wall like that. Okay, one gun team, keep quick climbing the howitzers, one gun team just to keep quick climbing the enemy. Now the guns can work on another breach. Okay, you tr okay, let's try to get my howitzers. One to work on, try and attack this breach, this unit. One to attack here, because then the area effect will also hit that line infantry there. Just about get the edge of that garrison unit. We're down to. Oop, he. My man is so beautiful. Oop, he's looking at me. Quick, then look at something else. <laughs> oh, my gunners go for this section. Slamming round shot into the breach here. Another Morty unit down there. Four Morty unit. Yeah. Trixie little AI. Kill a couple more. Do you have a Swiss Pike unit though? So if we, they can become the, um, the canary in the coal mine, so to speak. You're gonna have to run, run for that breach. We're going to try and run over here. Playing with these skirmishers. You're gonna try and run. Cover. There's a limit to how much we want to do this because they've got mortars. So mostly we're going to be about setting up the setting this up and then attacking quite quickly. Let's get Hussars over one side, Carabiners over here as well. Oh, it's a heavy cab push the other. One gun team needs to try and keep hitting them with quick line fire. The other just does need to just try and attack the troops around the breaches. There you go. Sacrificial Swiss pikes. They're not firing. They're not firing. So we have managed. We will. Um, we have managed to deplete the mortars. Available mortar units down to two. Because what I really want you to do, quick run the howitzer, is engage this this unit on the uh, wall, really.
Killed one of the men. Killed some men on that infantry. On that um, mortar team. Like when they're going to charge in. Because they may as well charge in, otherwise they'll just sit outside and die. You men, Marines. You're going to push in. These men are going to be your reserve. Swiss Pikes are going in. These men are going to be the reserve. Exactly what I wanted you guys to do. I wanted these, the infantry to run off the wall so the Swiss line can get up here. I mean, hell, if they're just going to let me run in. Marines run forward towards the garrison militia. These pikemen are going to grind their way through. Let's get my general up here. Yeah, how it's a but artillery switched to round shot. I keep attacking the mortars in the center. Okay, my foot artillery as well needs to stop firing because that's also going to do lots of damage. Can I get an infantry unit? Marines. Marine and line infantry. Right, I get a line infantry unit here. And just start pouring fire onto the enemy defending this bridge. Skirmishes are engaging the armed citizenry, and they won because they're outside of the wall. Push forward and attack. Swiss line. The armed citizenry are surrendering the wall. You're right, in which case, let's run along and secure the gate. Skirmishers, get in here. Heavy cavalry, get in here. Swiss grenadiers haven't managed to escape. Sorry, you men get in here. Oh, we don't have the wall, do we? We had it while they were, um... While they were here. You men form up. And just begin engaging this block with... Musket fire. There you go, they've worked it out. No, cavalry, stay over here now. My enemy general may fall. Excellent. Gatehouse is ours. Run men in. It's time to fire quick line shots. It's a 1v1. Excellent. Heavy cavalry get in. Come on, you men. Avoid the combat. Or fire into this block. The pikemen still going strong. This infantry regiment is being defeated. It's not going to matter. Can you make ready and fire? Although you're shooting at the men on the wall, which is the worst possible outcome. You go 
guys over here. You guys over here. My carabiner over here. The wall is secured. Understandably, my skirmishes on the wall would not entirely happy about being involved in a general assault. Oh, I'm up. We've only got to hold it for 22 more seconds. I don't think the enemy has the staying power to do what needs to be done. You can't push us out of here. No, sir. My pikemen are just grinding their way through the front. Come on, you man. Charge the rear of the provincial militia. The druid has fallen because the enemy AI has been incredibly, incredibly stupid. That is the end of Spain. All these armies gone. Poof, finito. In attesa di ordine. Great, you men push up to build bow. Destroy this modern university because we don't need it. So I imagine Spain to provide a bit of spirited defense. Actually, two months, we probably don't need two coaching ins here. Lisbon, especially once we're going to get rid of the school. Excellent. So, minus 10, minus 14. Univ destroying the university will go a huge way towards getting rid of that unhappiness. Same with Spain. Get rid of the university. As soon as they stop learning things, people chill right out. Awesome. Okay, keep on upgrading. Great. Okay. Okay, this army here, Ludovico Castro, we can indeed. Okay, this army, get over to the Americas. Recruit a few more sloops. Okay, let's get you over. Oh no, you have to get into Gibraltar, then I'll do it. Cool. Da sinistra, in marcha. Okay, get a rake over here. Signore. Okay. That's that's gone really nicely. Let's repair this. Okay, let's get this rake into here. So you have marched across. This force can go. Boop. You don't want to exchange. Okay, things to sort out. First of all, Demerit Dimitrio Ferretti lay siege to Edinburgh. Because we need to deal with this. And we need to deal with this. Cornelius Percy. But that's why we have Añejo Bruno. Okay, let's deal with No old plumber. Let's deal with them first on the Emerald Isle. And then we need to, well, yeah, we need to clear out the north of Britain, rapidly push down towards London, secure it, and then we are just, just start firing armies out into the world. Because we are a bit depleted, we are going to have guns in the line. Our infantry set up. Because we've got bugged gun teams as well. <laughs> okay, 
three on that flank here. Okay, let's put, combine some a bunch of our weak infantry. They can all defend the left. Swiss line, the bolster, wherever feels weakest. Cavalry on either flank. One gun team that's going to sit at the back on the higher ground, just shooting. Howitzers unloading. Quick line as fast as they can load it. Okay. They're at a range of um, quick line, so let's load them with round shot. The enemy artillery is about to receive a lot of fire. How far away are you from being able to shoot things with quicklime? Not crazy far. Hussars versus Hussars. Okay, yes, you could do with some help. Dropping to square for both of you. <laughs> the infantry gets stuck in. So they've got more cavalry than we have, but our infantry will win us the day. Okay, there we go. You are officially in range because of that one chap. General's bodyguards coming in to help. Trap roll shot. This isn't their general, it's just another general's bodyguard unit. Yeah, you just if there is an officer in here, let's just try to kill them. There, the hussars are shattered, which is great. Get back in the line. You hit the Fusiliers, you hit the 55th. Shrapnel unit hit the 82nd. You get ready to hit the Highlander Warband, although the, the trees might be a bit of a impediment. Artillery at the rear, just keep engaging the enemy artillery. Yeah, so like the shrapnel shot might burst in these trees, but that's not terrible. They're still pretty close. Ireland does not want to be part of you, Britain. We're going to keep them safe as a good Catholic people should. Ah, the the uh, enemy cavalry is has taken issue with our strategy. Folks, all my artillery fire onto that yeomanry unit just in, just while it's charging. Good. Okay, retarget my howitzers. I've already consumed one lot of fire from them. Shout and shot should see them off. Yes, it does. Okay, let's fold the. Actually, let's not fold the left flank. Enemy, the enemy position is looking mighty weak now. They're running up. Okay. 48th. Done a stupendous job to get this far. And they are inspired by a nearby unit. Until suddenly. You 
lost a good chunk of men. Okay, the enemy are wheeling right, are wheeling left, push my infantry up just to get in on the flank, nice and tidy. Good hit, the 36th should break, yeah, they're out of here. Fuser layers are exposed on the left. Charge the Highlander warband with my full strength Swiss line. The generals here. Well, my general, my cuirassier here. Former. We have been at war. For an awfully long time, Britain. Although you're going for my you're going for my artillery. Defend the guns! Defend the guns, Mr. Shelby. Kill the last of his Highlander warbands. Getting my hussars into the action. There we go. Kill the enemy cavalry. The gunners didn't even stop firing. Kill the artillery with my sars. Kill the last of these men here. Especially as they've nicely limbered up. Ceasefire. Excellent. General, go after those guys. Okay, let's try to get this cavalry back out here because units are a bit less spread out. It should be more except more amenable to being here. I'm not so bothered about killing mercenaries because they can be recruited anywhere, but. A good infantry unit kill is a good infantry unit kill. Kill the enemy general, which is always nice. You can't make up your mind about who to kill here. Four, three. The general's ready to used. Yeah, I think realistically everybody's going to get away except for this unit in the town. But there's not many of them left. One left. Yep, we've defended Ireland. That force has been absolutely crushed. E-Marta! You men replenish. All right. Yeho Bruno storm forward into the face of Cornelius Percy. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of another British army. Cheers, everyone.